It's time to learn. Let's go. Hi there. Welcome back. It's great to see you again. Hi there, kids. Teacher, what are we learning today? We'll be learning about ledger lines. Ledger line. Great. Let's look at today's topic. In one of our previous episodes, you've learned these acronyms for both treble clef and bass clef. Oh yes, I remember. Now, other than these notes, there's more. Notes that live above and below the stave. There are. Why yes. Firstly, let's take a look at treble clef. Put in all the notes you've learned. Ta-da! Now I'll put in the new notes. The first two notes below the stave, D and middle C. Here are the two notes above the stave, G and A. Cool. More line notes and space notes. No, 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 Ruby. They are not just normal space and line notes. These are different. They have another name. Let's take a closer look. This note is E. The note right below it is D. It's inside a ledger space. Ledger space? Yes, ledger space. A ledger space is the space outside of the stave. It's invisible. Notes can also live in the ledger space. Now, after a space note, you have a line note. Yes, which means after D, there's this note, middle C. To show that it's different from a D, we draw a short line called the ledger line. Draw a ledger line, draw a note on it, and voila, you have middle C. I see it now. Not just yet. You can have a lot of ledger spaces and lines. Check this out. Here's middle C. One ledger space lower, you have B. Draw another ledger line, you'll have A. Right below that line is your ledger space again, and that's a G. Your music alphabets move backwards below the stave. What about the ones above the stave? Here, the top line note is an F, so the ledger space above you is a G. Draw a ledger line, draw a note. This is A. In the ledger space above it, draw a note. This is B. Draw a second ledger line. You'll have C, and above that, D. Inside another ledger space. There are some rules to follow when you use ledger lines. Take this example. You want a B below middle C. You only need to make use of one ledger line. Can I draw A like this? No, 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 no. People would mistake it as middle C. It's confusing and it's wrong. To make it A, you need two ledger lines, like this. This is correct. Let's try reading the ones above the stave. This is A. This is wrong. To get B, only one ledger line, not two. Remove it. Voila. This is correct. This is wrong. To get C, you need two ledger lines. Got it? Got it. Now. Bass clef. You know that the line notes are G, B, D, F, A. So line one is G. In the ledger space below is F. Draw a ledger line. You'll have E. Under the ledger line, it's D. Draw a second ledger line. You get C. And below that, you have B. Let's look above. Line five is A, followed by B, inside the ledger space. Draw a ledger line. You'll have middle C. Above the ledger line, it's D. 
add a second ledger line, you get E. Above it, it's F. Notice these two. Both are middle C's, living in different clef. They sound the same because they are the same. Ooh! When we put the clefs together, you have a grand stave. Inside a grand stave, both treble and bass clef can share the same middle C. Middle C is seated right in the middle, hence the name middle C. Quiz time! Question 1. Which one is the E note? The treble clef or the bass clef? Bass clef! Great job! Next question. These lines below the stave, what is it called? What is its name? Ledger line! Well done! That's all for today. We hope you liked this video. If you missed the acronyms episode, do check out our previous videos. It's simple and easy. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Click the little bell to receive alerts on our latest posts. See you next time!